Good afternoon from Melissa. This is James. I'm here with April today and we want to introduce you to some of our new friends. As you know, every month we have a roundup campaign where we ask you to round your change up for a local charity. And we found a charity that really should tug at the heartstrings, doing some great work behind the scenes that you may not have heard of. So without further ado, I'm going to let these ladies introduce themselves and tell us about the Rally Foundation. Hi, yes. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, my name is Sarah Poland and I'm with Rally Foundation. Um, and then I've got my coworker Jamie here and then her daughter Katie. So um, first of all, we're, we're just so thankful that you reached out and we're really excited to be doing this campaign with you in March. Um, so a little bit about what Rally Foundation does. Um, our full title is Rally Foundation for Childhood Cancer Research. So our mission is to fund the best, most promising research that there is out there, um, specifically with better treatments and fewer long-term side effects in mind for children. So um, unfortunately, there's not been a lot of advancement in even the past three decades as far as treatments go for children's cancers. So they're having a lot of um, long-term side effects that, that they're dealing with and Jamie can touch on. You know, Katie just came from a checkup at the doctor today, so even she's out of treatment, but still constantly, you know, monitoring her heart and lungs and, and all of that. Um, so really focused on just better treatments for our kids and taking better care of them um, and ultimately cures for childhood cancer. I mean, you know, obviously that's the long-term goal, but right now just, you know, better, better treatments and better quality of life. Um, we accomplish the mission of awareness and funds by doing, you know, events and, and partnerships just like this. Too. So we're really excited to reach a new audience. Well, we're, we're excited to have you. I'll tell you, we didn't know a lot about Rally Foundation when we first saw the email that came through. Liz had received an email and she forwarded it to me about 2 a.m. one morning and, and I, I didn't check it then, but I checked it early the next morning. And I, the more I dug into it, the more I realized this is a great, great cause. Why well, I haven't heard of that before. So how long have you guys been in existence? Yeah, and that's something, you know, childhood cancer is not something that's really fun to talk about. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you, you know, you don't always hear about it all the time. Um, but it's unfortunately really, it's, it's not rare. It's actually quite common. Um, so Rally Foundation was formed in 2005. Um, we are based in Atlanta, and that's just because that's where the CEO lives, and that's kind of you know how it organically happened. Um, but we fund the best, most promising research, no matter where it may be, so all across the country. Um, we have had an actual physical presence in Pensacola as far as staff and volunteers um, since 2015. Oh wow! So you know, it, and that's so part of the roots. reason, yeah, you know, why it's been you know may not have heard about it in this area. Um, but what we are doing physically in Pensacola and the surrounding communities, so. Our, our territory, if you say, um, is our kids, anyone treated at Sacred Heart in Pensacola, which is the closest on pediatric oncology center from basically Bruton, Alabama, all the way over to Panama City. So kids from that entire region are coming here and being treated um, at Sacred Heart and are part of you know the Rally Pensacola family. So we're absolutely wanting to expand awareness in you know Pace and Milton and, and on over you know to the other counties as well. Um, one thing that is really important to us is there is something called the Family Emergency Fund. So aside from our focus on research, we also want to take care of the families and kids who are currently in treatment. So we have a fund that provides financial assistance um, up to a year outside of treatment for right. basic needs, you know, mortgage and utility bills and car payments and things like that. And there is actually a fund for the entire country. And then there is a fund just for Pensacola, which is everyone treated at Sacred Heart. So that was something that was really important to um, the, the person who kind of developed, you know, the, the presence in Pensacola and it became an official extension was that we want to have this fund that's just for families in our immediate region because she knew how important it was to this community. Fantastic. Well, tell us about your guest. Yes. Yeah, so Jamie first um, found out about Rally, unfortunately, as a Rally parent. Um, so when Katie was diagnosed and... Um, fast forward however many years and she now works for us. So I think that speaks for, you know, how, how you can feel good about it, supporting that, that she, you know, went from mom to employee, but I'll let, I'll let Jamie tell you her yes. story. So um, again, my name is Jamie Mitchell and this is my nine-year-old daughter, Katie Mitchell. Katie was diagnosed in 2013 with leukemia and uh, for leukemia for kids, for girls is two and a half years of treatment, for boys is three and a half years of treatment. So. She ended treatment in 2016. We just had her um, every few months. She goes in for blood work and her checkup with her oncologist. We got the clear today. Her blood work looks great. So we have to have these regular checkups to check her relapse and any other issues. So um, she had a, uh, uh, her treatment was, was a little hard for her. So um, the kind of chemotherapy that she received, that these children receive are the same that the adults do. So 
can imagine what the what it does to their bodies. Mm -hmm. um, I always tell folks that we almost lost Katie twice. Once with the cancer, twice with the treatment that the chemotherapy that she did to kill the cancer. Um, so that's why you know rally is so important is finding better treatments for these kids. We want the cure, but until then we've got to find a better way of treating it because you know sometimes it's the treatment that's that unfortunately just kills the kids. So um, lack of of options. Yes. And we run out of what the current treatments are and then that's it. Exactly. Yeah. There, there's no other option left. So um, we're very fortunate. Uh, you know, she was treated here at Sacred Heart. Um, she's doing great today. We still get checkups. We still have, you know, some some side effects from from treatments that we're working on. Um, nothing big as compared to, to some others, but she's she's doing wonderful. But I learned about the Rally Foundation when she was in the infusion center receiving a blood um, transfusion, and. Before I, I kind of got into Rally, I wanted to do some research. So I went online like everybody else and I found out what they did um, for our kids. It was specifically for our kids and it's so underfunded. You know, the, the, it's for children, for childhood cancer research, only 4% um, goes towards actual research. And that's for all. And, and that surprised me. So 4% out of all the research is done. So it's through the National Institutes of Health their cancer research budget, only 4% of that goes towards childhood cancer. So it's 96% total and then 4% to children. And then within that 4%, it's then broken down. So it's not like 4% to leukemia, it's 4% to kids only. So then it's like broken down into leukemia and brain tumors and, and bone cancer and, and things that are different than what adults get. So each little type of childhood cancer is getting just minimal, minimal research on the national level. And so that's why. Um, again, what this is, is, is I, I talked about our upcoming roundup for March. Uh, I'm going to ask you up front, would you like to round your purchase up? And it may only be a penny or 17 cents or 25 cents. Or some people may say, hey, add an extra dollar to it or five dollars or whatever. But whatever you can afford to do is going to go to cancer research, research for children through the Rally Foundation. And these folks are here I'm really educating us about the need that's out there. So what what is it? You've gone from a mom to an employee, um, besides the little one here. Mm -hmm. What what keeps your passion alive about Rally? Well, you know what really got me as a, a parent. What really what attracted me the most to to Rally is they do ninety three cents per dollar goes towards funding for research. That's a lot. Yes. So anything that you're able to donate for for the rounding up. I mean, 93 cents for a dollar, that's, I, mean, I, I don't know a lot that do that, so um, a great way to check it out is Charity Navigator, um, a great uh, website to check for your charities, and uh, Rally has five stars. Yep. Oh, so, wow. yeah, so that's something, yeah, Rally really prides ourselves on is, you know, very low overhead, we get yeah. a lot done with amazing volunteers so that we don't have to have a giant staff and, and you know, lots and lots of in-kind donations and great community support so that we that's it. can really have a high efficiency rating. It is, and, th and that's what really got me as a parent, knowing that you know they're, they're really passionate and they really want to help our children. So the money that's being raised is, is, is as much as possible is going towards that. So that really gets me going, and, and just you know being able to help is an amazing uh, foundation. You know everybody that works for it is doing it purely because they love to do it. So you know just just helping our, our, our families here locally. The emergency fund is, is a big thing too. When Katie was diagnosed, I was in real estate, so working commission. You know, I had to take a lot of time off staying in, in the hospital. So, you know, having the family emergency fund, that's a big help mm -hmm. to a lot of these families. You know, the last thing we want to worry about is our mortgage payment, our car payment when our child's in the hospital. So having something like that locally has been a huge help, and it's helped a lot of families here. So, um, you know, this, this is a great, it's not only for the, the kids, but for the families, for the siblings. Um, I have an 11-year-old son, and, you know, he was kind of left in the shadows during all this. And you know it's hard for the, the, the parents as well. So Rally is really good about having family gatherings. You know, helping connect to the families, being a support for one another, for the siblings. Um, you know, we love to work with community partners, having events too. So it, it's just a really pure family-based foundation. So I that's why I wanted to work for them because they were just so good to us, and I want to just help share that with other families. That's awesome. awesome. So I'm sure April will talk to you about Mission Pass. You're going to be a part of that. We hope so. Okay. We we have a, we gotta find some more of those amazing volunteers to staff another event in this one. Which but we would love to, we would love question. to be there. So aside from rounding change up, I mean every little 
little community helps. Absolutely. Uh, coming from a nonprofit myself, I'm, I'm, I will be the first to tell you that uh, the budgets are tight, and you got to be very careful about where you spend it because you may not get a replenishment of that fund anytime soon. So, outside of the financial piece, what can people do to support? I mean, our, our mission is twofold. It, you know, it's raising funds and it's raising awareness. It's, it's getting the word out about those numbers, about the prevalence of childhood cancer and the lack of funding. And, you know, if you aren't able to personally donate, if you tell someone else and you help us spread the word, you never know who it's going to reach and, and how it's going to grow from there. So, you know, it's every little bit helps. And then also just being an advocate for the childhood cancer community and kind of joining us in the fight. Well, I'll tell you, the more that I learn about it, the more I love what you're doing. It's such a big need, and we're happy to be a part of it. Thank you. Uh, April was able to go to one of your events recently, one of your... Um, yeah, so she came to one of our Lunch and Learns and okay. was able to kind of hear the whole spiel and how it all got started <laughs> and how it grew in Atlanta and how it's spread here and how our, our research is funded and all the, the nitty-gritty So you have at least one good strong advocate. Yes, so we won't, we won't sure. share all that, you know, all the <laughs> nitty-gritty details with you now, but... But you should be a pro by now and, yeah. and can yeah, answer all those Anything questions. you learned that day that we didn't hit on that we need to let our customers know about? Um, no, I think you did a good job pretty much covering everything. We can um, do it in 45 minutes or we can do it in 45 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> good all this. Yeah, yeah, no, just hearing all the, the testimonies that you had and um, just how it impacted you and your family personally, it was very touching. It was very emotional to hear there was another lady that was there that kind of gave her testimony and um, yeah it was an emotional right time to it hear. is I mean and it's like you cry sad tears but then it's happy tears mm. because you're like I'm gonna help this and you know what can I do and yeah. so it's definitely you know on personally fulfilling mm -hmm. as well you know I mean you want to give to a great cause but then also it's you know I, I if I didn't have to to do these things as an employee, then I would still do them, and I think that says a lot. Yeah. Well, I know you're busy. I appreciate you coming out and educating us a little bit more and, and letting our community know what this is all about. Uh, one last question. Yes. So you always in your emails gold strong. Yes. Oh, and it's on my shirt. And it's so, on your shirt. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's kind of it's like our rally rallying cry. So it's our hashtag. You know, it's just saying that we're all you know gold strong together. It's it's a, we're united against childhood cancer. So um, you know. A lot of causes have ribbons, and, mm -hmm. and the childhood cancer ribbon is gold. Um, I guess this was Didn't know that. this was chosen because our uh, it's one of the most precious metals, and our children are one of the most precious things to us. So that's kind of how that happened. So that's where the gold comes from, and then just that we're you know kind of united together and we're strong against. We met the strong. <laughs> She's right. Yep, there. I know. I mean, these kids like they're they're amazing and they're tough. I mean, Very resilient. They are. Yeah. Great Stronger support. than me. Great yeah. support. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. So a great, great organization coming up for March. Again, we're going to ask you to round up, and this is what you're rounding up to, uh, to help make a difference to not only today in the lives of the kids that are in the process right now, but for many, many years to come. So we can do better than 4%. Absolutely. We definitely do better than 4%. And what we're going to do here, we may not change the world, but we may change one life, and that's that's really what it's all about. So I'll just end it up this way. Goal strong, shop Alyssa's. Thank you.